What is up guys, it is Nick, we are back, and today we are going to be going over the new patch notes for Black Desert Console. Um, this is the big one right here is the name change. As you guys well know, we are going to have crossplay. I'm going to actually open up this link and we'll go over it real quick. We will have crossplay coming to uh, Black Desert. I'll discuss this real quick. It was a five days ago update, but we'll talk about it real quick. So crossplay server structure. Uh, there will be crossplay and non crossplay servers that people can join at will. Crossplay servers will have crossplay in their name. Uh, then the platform specific channels will be shown only to that platform, i.e. Xbox players will not be able to see the PS4 only channels and vice versa. Uh, Xbox Asia server and languages added. Along with crossplay, Asia servers will be open to our Xbox service, complete with languages such as Korean, Japanese, and traditional simplified Chinese. More details regarding Xbox Asia will be announced via a separate notice. Uh, Node and Conquest War. After crossplay launches, Conquest and Nose Wars will take place in the crossplay servers uh, for, of their specific region. This means that Bellinos, Serendia, and Calpheon Node Quest Conquest Wars will be open to all adventures regardless of the platform. All nodes, the regions, uh, all nodes and regions that are owned before the update will be liberated, and there will be no Node or Conquest War starting from March 4th until March 7th. March 4th. Uh, which I'll open up the calendar down here real quick. March 4th is the day of the update. That is next Wednesday. Um, and then I would assume, so through the 7th, there'll be no Node War. So through Saturday, so Sunday will be the first day that they could possibly have a Node War. Um, and so, yeah, we'll have that update next week. So we'll have a big video next week, probably going over big update changes. Um, so... Let's see here. The, the first Node War after the crossplay of update will take place on Sunday, like I said. Please note that since all Node and Conquest War data, including Tax Day and Tax Wagon, will be reset, the tax received from the first wars after crossplay update might be slightly lower than before, and all war related structures, forts, etc., will be removed during the maintenance. You will find more details regarding Conquest Wars and Node Wars in our patch notes released on the day of the update. Guilds, PlayStation Xbox players will be able to unite under the same banner after crossplay. Please note that the Apprentice system will be re-added back to PlayStation at 4 after the update. The Apprentice system is a trial period with the guild where new members have diminished responsibilities and cannot be promoted higher in the guild until their apprenticeship finishes. Uh, family and guild names changes, we'll go over that in a separate We'll go over that in just a second. Uh, central market, Black Desert Central Market prices are based on a free market principle, which reacts to supply and demand. Right now, with the split prices uh, differ between each platform, with the crossplay update, we will merge the central market of PlayStation and Xbox. When this merge occurs, we will be selecting the higher of the two prices for the market price to start at. So probably, more than likely, a lot of the Xbox prices. Uh, any withstanding pre-orders will be canceled during the update, and the silver will be sent to your in-game mail. Same applies to sales which were completed, but the silver not collected. If pre-order was successful, purchase items will be removed to the central market wallet. All the items registered for sale will be removed from the market and also returned to your central market wallet. It's content. As we head towards crossplay, we will be making sure the game cannot or the game content can be accessed by all players, both Xbox and PlayStation will have access to the same content. So that should mean next week PlayStation should get Cama Sylvia and every character that they don't have. At least they'll get it soon. I don't really, don't really know. I don't, I don't really know if that means they're gonna get it. But that would that that statement tends to make me believe they're gonna get it relatively soon. But who knows? They've been pushing back all that content because the servers on PlayStation and the game in general on PlayStation can't handle it. Uh, game accounts. Unfortunately, we will not be able to transfer accounts between platforms, so even though you can play together, you will not be able to switch from one another. Uh, patch size. The cross-platform update requires a number of major adjustments and additions to the game file. As such, we are expecting the file size of this will be will increase by about 3 to 4 gigs. That's a pretty small update, especially like if you play Call of Duty, you know 3 to 4 gigs for an update is not very big. We have like 40 gig updates on Call of Duty sometimes. Uh, we are truly looking forward to the introduction of crossplay, yada, yada, yada. What I'm not happy about this is that I can't combine my accounts. I can't bind them into one. Um, like, I would be perfectly fine if I could bind my accounts into the one. Like, if we had to make a Black Desert account, and then you had your Xbox and your PlayStation combined into one, and then I could 
have my I could transfer my money and stuff from PlayStation onto Xbox, but it looks like I'll still be playing on both consoles because I don't want to give up what I have on PlayStation just for nothing. So we'll still play on that uh, from time to time. Here is the things about name changes. I'm just going to sum this up kind of because the way they phrase it is a little bit weird. So here's how it works. So I'm going to use my own account as an example and we'll go from there. So my account name is Yennefer for my main sorceress, spelled wrong, but it's Yennefer. If there's a, well, I'm pretty sure there's probably a Yennefer spelled the exact same way on PlayStation. Since I'm active, considered an active player, which means you've played in the last 30 days, whoever has the um, Yennefer account on PlayStation will get a BDC added at the end, underscore BDC. So it'll be Yennefer underscore BDC will be their name because I own the account, so they're going to make that person change their name, or they can be Yennefer underscore BDC. Uh, it, the priority really is going to go to Xbox Day One people, uh, and then we'll see after that. It all depends on when the user created their name for that account. So any PlayStation person, um, um, it's based on days after release technically, but... If the days after released are equal, the Xbox person is going to win. I, I believe that's how it works. The Xbox person is going to get the priority, um, even if it's the same days old Xbox and PlayStation. So you could see them do a little bit of math here under the both active players. If an Xbox user created their name on March 1st and then the PlayStation user created theirs on August 23rd, the Xbox user will keep their name and the PlayStation user will have their name changed Xbox release date. Uh, was when that person created theirs and then the PlayStation release date it was three days after so that's how it works if both Name or both players names are inactive um, Then the system for the two active players will be applied. I don't really know what that means. It says I'm assuming It means if both players are considered inactive then the system for two active players will be applied Okay, so it'll just it'll just flop it over to active player. So whoever's account was created first from release date, we'll get to keep the account name. Um, this comes a little dicey because the, I believe the PlayStation release was a little bit more popular. So I have a feeling some Xbox people are gonna lose their name. Luckily for me, there is no possible way anybody beat me to Yennefer and that's really all I care about. There's other names that I have that I'm gonna be sad that I lose. Like I have the Siri original name on PlayStation. So I'm hoping that person is inactive on Xbox. That would be great, um, but I highly doubt that. Um, but yeah, that's kind of, that's kind of where we are right now is that you're kind of in limbo with your name. Are you going to get to keep it? Are you going to lose it? I know for a fact, the one name that means the most to me, which is Yennefer, I don't want to lose that. The person would have had to create that Yennefer spelled wrong on PlayStation literally one minute after the game launched because I started the game, didn't edit anything really, and then just started the game and made the name. And then I spelled it wrong like an idiot, but I kind of like it spelled wrong. I don't know, it feels more, it feels like me, I spelled it wrong, woo. But uh, yeah, that's kind of the big thing is that it, it works the same for guilds and families and all that different stuff. The good thing is I should hold on to the Witcher family. I believe I have it on both consoles, so it doesn't even matter. Um, I think I'm the owner of the name on both consoles, if I remember correctly. Maybe I'm wrong on PlayStation, but I believe I own the name on both consoles. Uh, so that's nice. I might have made it something different on PlayStation, I don't actually remember, but... <clears throat> I should have that name locked up as well. Uh, guild names, there works the same for everything. I mean, I'm pretty much guild activity in the last 30 days will be taken into consideration for that, but overall it's still going to be relatively the same. If you are forced to change your name and you get that underscore BDC, you're going to get a free name change coupon, so that's nice. Those will start uh, rolling out probably on March 4th, I would guess, but maybe it'll take a few days. Um, March or February 26th is the last day they're going to let you change names. So if I don't know why you would change your name today, um, but if you wanted to, you could change your name today because this is the last day to change it. So I think that's about all about the name changes that you need to know. Let's move on to the final thing for the day's video. There wasn't a lot of stuff here. Um, you can see there was a cross play explained and then schedule maintenance knownness just to let you know there's maintenance coming. And then there was the Pearl Shop updates and the name change coupon stuff. So let's get into the Pearl Shop update. So we have the Angels update or outfit. 
I thought we already had that. Maybe it's just discounted. Uh, great chance to get functional costumes. So the fishing and the gathering. Then we have the value packs and stuff like that. So let's get into this. So the Lucky Moonlight package is 10% off, really. I mean, temper it's not even 10% off because it's 600 off and it's 5,500. So it's like 11% or something like that. Um, but anyways, you get the value pack 30 days, artist and memories time 100. Um, Moonlight Shard times 10, Memory Fragment times 10, and Valk's Cry times 20. Uh, the Functional Costume Bundles, um, they are 30% off. You have Type A and Type B. Um, you have the Camouflage Riding Attire and the Karki Suit in B. And you have the Camouflage Fisher's Clothes and Pavola Costume Set there. You also get the Cabellius Divinus uh, Premium Set. Uh, that's Warrior, Ranger, Sork, Berserker, Wizard, Witch, Tamer, Musa, Valkyrie, Konoichi, Ninja, Lawn, Dark Knight, Striker, and Mystic. So the only thing not included in there is Shy. So uh, 3,400 pearls for that. We have the event Loyalties. Uh, this is uh, the event items being, or loyalty items being discounted to one. Uh, so we have the Team Green, Aqua Dye Box Bundle, Big Granier, Firecracker D times 5, Elian's Tears, Large Energy Tonic, and Tears of the Wind. Uh, Team Blue is a blue dye box, uh, Big Granier, Firecracker E times 5, Secret Book of Old Moon, uh, Black Spirit Essence, and Desert Sickness Cure times 11. Next we have Going on Sale 20% Off are all these different attires. These are all useful attires, and I mentioned them all up here, except for Canape Classic Set. Moving on to new items. This is what we all really care about. Uh, we get the Cabellius Premium Set, Warrior, Ranger, Sork, Berserker, Wizard, Witch, Tamer, Musa, Mal Valkyrie, Konoichi, Ninja, Lawn, Dark Knight, Striker, and Mystic. I believe we're just missing Shy again there. Uh, Le Vladian, Le Vladian, uh, Default, No Stocking, Konoichi, and Valk, 700 Pearls. I believe that's like... That's like under stuff that's not actual armor and stuff like that. Uh, Cantusa Classic Set, Berserker Warrior Wizard, Musa Ninja, 2900. That's a new set for males. And Flory Outfit Set, they added for Valkyrie. That's that kind of like white set. Um, so there is known issues in the Pearl Shop on the following items. You can read all of those there. They're just different costumes. I, I don't know what that they don't list the certain issues that they have, but. That's where you can find those. And then this is the Pearl Shot update for the PlayStation. Pretty much all the same, except they got they the new things that they got was the Cabellius Premium Set, Lovladian, and they have a few issues with the ones on there. So not much new on PlayStation. PlayStation didn't get anything new that Xbox didn't have that was considered new. Uh, a lot of the time they're adding new stuff to PlayStation that we've had on Xbox before, but none of that this week. Uh, so that's going to do it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Drop the video a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't. And I'll catch you guys next Wednesday for probably a huge patch notes video. I'm going to guess we'll probably be here for 20, 30 minutes discussing uh, cross-play server and stuff like that when we get more details. So hope you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you guys then. Peace.